Hi. In this video, I want to talk about the process of importing assets, both 3D models and 360 photos, to the Eon XR platform. Focus will be on file size limits for individual assets. While only accessing Eon XR, having access after login, Creators has ability to create content based on existing 3D assets, which are, in other words, 3D models, and the 360 assets, which are spherical photography. There is also a process of importing those assets as an own using import 3D assets or import 360 image available from the menu on the website as well as from the menu on the mobile application. Importing a 360 photos require, has some limitations and requires some specific format. So the photo, a spherical photo, has to be in a format either JPG or a PNG file format extension. Important maybe to notice that some people, some cameras use a JPEG and the file extension has to be clear that it is a JPG. For the size of the picture, in pixels, it has to be 8192 by 4092 in the width and the height proportions. It is also requested that the maximum file size should, should not extend the 15 megabytes of the data. Okay, and there are some information. So for bringing that model, we can select it from our hard drive. So let me go and select some of the examples of the photos. If there is a photo that either I created or exists in here, uh, this is for instance a JPG file with a 7.6 megabyte file size and with a dimension of 4096 by 2048 pixel. Selecting an image, I can add it, I can of course rename it, select its category and, and add it, as well as I can add multiple pictures, having them being having them selected adding them to the process. So each of the individual photo has to fulfill that requirements. Altogether, the experience created based on those 360 photos could be, of course, much more bigger and much more advanced because of the different types of the assets that we want to use. So there is a cloud-based upload, and then the assets are being selected, marked as my own, and I have ability to uh, delete those assets from the potentially created lesson experience, press next, select the lesson title, category, rearrange them, delete them if I don't want to, and build my own experience, my own lesson. So that's for the process of importing a 360. Right now, let's focus on the process of importing a 3D models. Import 3D, 3D asset is the option available from the menu, as I mentioned before, and Eon XR provides multiple 3D file formats that can be converted either automatically used, natively used, or converted to the compatible form file formats. We support many CAT 3D file formats and DCC, Digital Content Creation 3D file formats. Most likely, and the most recommended 3D file formats, which is a, has the biggest compatibility with the, all different features, the GLTF and GLB file formats, as an open file formats available from the Kronos Group and Eon supports them and provide it, this format provides the agnostic approach for multiple devices. There is a checklist which we recommend to follow in regards to the uh, importing a 3D assets. And we also recommend the Sketchfab or other through online libraries as a potential sources of a 3D model. So if I want to import a 3D model, this is a model from a Sketchfab and I'm providing a, a reference to that also in the description of the movie. I, and for many models available online, I can copy them. I will also copy the credits and download those models as a GLTF file format. I already downloaded on the desktop. I'll maybe download it again just to clear, clear this and be sure it's, it's done from the online section. That means I can select the file, choose my desktop, and I have the file in here available that I downloaded a moment ago go through the process of importing. It was a zip file, which means it was a compressed file with the multiple assets inside it, including model, license text, and textures, and some additional information, 
and I can convert them, paste the information about the author, select the category that I would like to use for that kind of object, and let me maybe select something which is more, more equipment and gadgets, S starts the upload, and now automated process will prepare this model. So as you can see, here the model preview has been prepared. We can select it in the course, we're selecting the view we would like to use for it. We have ability to change its name. For the assets, select the view we would like to use using a left mouse, a right mouse, middle mouse button, take a snapshot and update as a thumbnail as an icon that will be representing that in the library. Well, in a few moments time, we're able to see this as an asset and we can follow the further on the procedure related to the setting it up, confirming about the, the, the animations, multiple mesh, setting one-to-one -one scale, updating thumbnail, being also able to see this resource and being able to download that resource or upload a new version of that object so later on the experience or so-called the lesson can be created. So that's it for this importing of 3D assets. And I would like to maybe last thing to mention that as per the file size related to the 3D models, I think if I'm not mistaken, the EONXR currently supports uh, files with a size up to 100 megabytes. Be aware though that the, the bigger the model, the more time and the internet connectivity broadband is needed to download it and play it on your mobile device or on your virtual reality headset. Thank you very much for watching.